welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with you. We have a whole new setup here. I'm super excited. I hope you guys like this setup because you guys can see what we're working with. Um, of course, if you want a personal check out the information listed in the description, use the code August at checkout so that you guys can get half off of your service until August 7th. Okay? But Virgos, so what I was getting when I was meditating on your energy, it feels like you guys are ready to put something to bed. You don't want some sort of worry, anxiety, stress anymore. And this could consist of you finally closing out that chapter with a family member, a love interest, with someone here who creates a level of uneasiness or sadness in your life, okay? This also feels like you guys are ready to elevate and you've seen or you're seeing the things that more so stand in the way of that. And this could be just concepts that you've just accepted in your mind or even things that you guys have been subscribing to energy wise, okay? Hmm. All right, so we got spiritual practice. We have beginnings, joy, and courage here. I'm going to show you guys the cards in a second. So first card I want to address, we have spiritual practice. So you could be finding yourself wanting to get back into the things that work for you in terms of your spiritual journey. Maybe you're someone who meditates. Maybe you're somebody who um, keeps crystals under your pillow every night. Maybe you pray. Whatever spiritual practices that you had in place in the past that kind of kept you grounded, that kept you in the right mental space, you could be finding yourself wanting to get back into those things or even adapt into new spiritual practices, okay? Okay. You could also be finding that during this time frame, your spiritual practices are carrying you through some tough or interesting times here, all right? You could even be wondering whether or not someone is trying to do some witchcraft on you or some hoodoo, voodoo, all right? Um, I definitely would recommend some sort of spiritual bath, and I would definitely say keep you an evil eye on you, okay? You could have some people who are trying to send you the evil eye because they're jealous, Okay, it looks like you've got some people who are either jealous or spiteful towards you and you may be needing to get back into your spiritual practices to protect yourself. All right, we also have beginnings. So there's some sort of newness that's starting in your life, a new relationship, a new job. Uh, this could be a new mindset that you're adapting and in turn, you're going to start to see new things show up in your life. All right. Some of you guys are like, I'm ready to relocate. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to start some new shit in my life. And I was already getting that vibe before I even pulled this card that you guys are in a space of, of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. OK, you could even be starting some sort of new project during this time frame. The Leo new moon could be definitely giving you that push to get started on something new. Now, we also have joy. And this is the vibration that you guys are tapping into. You're starting to realize that you need to stop having this pessimistic um, energy of always critiquing or finding something wrong with your situation and needing to be more so in the space of just living life and having fun. Maybe you've been beating yourself down a little bit too much over things that you can't even control. Why are you beating yourself up for things that you can't control, that you can't change? And yeah, you guys are just wanting to spend time enjoying life. You could even be realizing that and taking a vacation from work or taking a vacation from maybe a social media site or something like that, that you find yourself being a lot more at peace than you were previously taking that break. Okay? There could even be something to celebrate during this time frame. You could be invited to some sort of celebration or you could be, like I said, celebrating something. Then we have courage. And this is perfect for Leo season and also the Leo new moon that we have. You could be finding yourself 
just ready to do new shit okay excuse my language but it just feels like that like i'm ready to do something new i'm ready to put myself out there and be confident in doing so you could have been wanting to do certain things for so long but you didn't have the confidence or the wherewithal to actually go ahead and do so and during the next couple of days you could be finally starting that business finally starting that youtube finally starting something or even making certain moves taking action on certain things and this brings just this invigoration this like excitement out of you you love it all right let's pull some tarot cards to see what else is coming through i'm using the everyday tarot today all right virgos what are the messages coming through so we got the devil card in reverse king of swords in reverse you got the hermit you got the tower will of fortune the lovers and the sun card okay virgos all right so looking deeper at the cards that we have here so it just feels like Again, you want to be free from the shackles of things that hold you back, whether this is addiction, whether this is toxic relationships that you have, whether this is even toxic concept that you yourself may have been believing that has been kept you in certain, have kept you in certain circumstances. I can talk. All right. Um, you could also be cutting off a Capricorn or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, there could be some lies being told from this individual, or there could be really bad communication where you and this person are not seeing eye to eye. Maybe you're communicating with this person and they're not getting through to you, um, or you're not getting through to them, or vice versa. They could be feeling like they're communicating with you and that they're not really getting through to you. You could also be seeing that somebody, it, it's not you, it's them. Like until they shake some sort of toxic habits or toxic ways, there's nothing that you can really do to change who this person is and the dynamic of the relationship you have with them. Um, I also see you guys just having this desire to get out of this isolation or solitude if you have been Basically, isolating yourself, even though we're out of quarantine, we're out of uh, being trapped up or cooped up in the house, you may have still been in that routine of just doing your own thing. It feels like you don't want to do that anymore. Maybe you're tired of being so much in your head most of the time. You, you have an idle mind when you have free time. And this is the devil's playground. So you could be finding yourself a lot more social in the next couple of days or wanting to be. Hmm. I also see some sort of positive turnaround after some sort of random event may have recently transpired. Maybe this is a random argument that you and your person had, and then there's some sort of turnaround with that. Or there could have been like some sort of random out of the blue event that may have taken place, or you started to realize that maybe something here wasn't strong, Maybe a relationship, maybe your savings, your, your financial situation. But there is about to be a positive turnaround to this whole situation here. You also could be breaking away from some sort of relationship with a Gemini or a Leo. You could be feeling like this person is very much fixated on their ego and making themselves look good than really the relationship. And this could cause some sort of serious disconnect between you two. Okay, let's pull some more cards. What are the last two messages for my Virgos that they need to hear? Virgos. All right, so we have road. It says choose your route. So what path are you about to take? Are you going to continue on the current path that you're on? Are you going to make some adjustments? Spirit wants you to get really clear on which direction you're trying to go in. This is also understanding that literally on your route, there's going to be twists and turns to whatever destination you're trying to get to. 
but understand that's a part of the journey and that's unavoidable okay like a real road <laughs> there's just certain things that you can't avoid potholes okay people walking all in the road and stuff <laughs> All right, and the last part we have is barefoot. It says, give your feet the freedom to feel the earth beneath them. So grounding. Some of you guys need to get back into nature. Okay, grounding may be very beneficial to you during this time frame. Maybe even going out into nature and meditating, if not verbatim grounding. But definitely getting yourself back into nature is essential. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat. Any information, like I said, will be below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Virgos.